Galatium, Galatians 4. Now I say that the heir, as long as he is a child, differs nothing from a servant, though he be lord of all, but is under tutors and governors until the time appointed of the father. Even so we, when we were children, were in bondage by the elements of the world. But when the fullness of the time was come, Yahuwah sent forth his son, who was born of a woman, and subject to the Torah, to redeem them as that were under the Torah, that we might receive the adoption of sons. Because ye are sons, Yahuwah has sent forth the Ruach of his Son into your hearts, crying, Abba, Father. Wherefore, you are no more a servant, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of Yahuwah through Hamashiach, Howbeit then, when ye knew not Yahuwah, ye did service unto them eth which by nature are not Yahuwah. But now, do ye not know Yahuwah, or rather are ye not known by Yahuwah? How turn ye again to the weak and beggarly elements? Do ye desire again to be in bondage? Ye observe days and months and times and years. I am afraid of you, lest I have bestowed upon you labor in vain. Brethren, I beseech you, be as I am, for I am as ye are. Ye have not injured me at all. Ye know how through infirmity of the flesh I preached the Besarah unto you at the first. And my temptation, which was in my flesh, Ye despised not, nor rejected, but received me as an angel of Yahuwah, even as Yahusha HaMashiach. Where is then the blessedness ye spoke of? For I bear you record that, if it had been possible, ye would have plucked out your own eyes and have given them to me. Am I therefore become your enemy, because I tell you the truth? They zealously affect you, but not well. Yea, they would exclude you, that ye might affect them. But it is good to be zealously affected always in a good thing, and not only when I am present with you. My little children, of whom I travail in birth again until Hamashiach be formed in you, I desire to be present with you now, and to change my voice, for I stand in doubt of you. Tell me, ye that desire to be under the Torah, do ye not hear and obey the Torah? For it is written that Abraham had two sons, the one by a bondmaid, the other by a free woman. But he who was of the bondwoman was born after the flesh, but he of the free woman was by promise which things are an allegory, for these are the two covenants, the one from the Mount Sinai, which genders to bondage, which is Hegar, for this Hegar is Mount Sinai in Arabia, and answers to the present Yerushalayim, for she is in bondage among her children. But Yerushalayim, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. For it is written, Rejoice, you barren that bear not. Break forth and cry, you that travail not. For the desolate has many more children than she which has a man. Now we, brethren, as Yitzhak was, are the children of promise. But as then he that was born after the flesh persecuted him that was born after the Ruach, even so it is now. Nevertheless, what says the scripture? Cast out the bondwoman and her son, for the son of the bondwoman shall not be heir with the son of the free woman. So then, brethren, we are not children of the bondwoman, but of the free woman.